Can you see my baby sleeping over there? <laughs> With her fat head and her crusty ear. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jess. These last few years, getting into my, my elderly uh, age, um, I'm borderline geriatric. I'm 20, I'm 27. I've just really been thinking a lot about what I want in my life and how I wanna achieve that and just all that kind of stuff that you get into as you feel like the world is coming down on you and, and the inevitable crushing weight of not fulfilling anything that you promised yourself you would achieve by 25 slips through your fingers because you're almost 30 and you still haven't even started any of those things. But. But I think that the thing that really gets in most people's way are their insecurities. I think a lot about why I do stuff. Partially because I took a philosophy class in my first semester ever in college, and now I really, I can't stop questioning everything. But I really think a lot about why I do stuff, and, and now that I'm getting older, I really focus on the intention with which I do things, because I feel like having a good intention really helps things, you know, move along a bit. And, but I understand, you know, about manifesting what you want and how thinking negative thoughts can get in your own way. And I think that all kind of ties into being really insecure about yourself and just wondering why, why, why am I not where I want to be right now? I'm not gonna list off a whole bunch of things or reasons why you're not where you're at because I think they all boil down to being insecure. You know, I think that a lot of people don't get where they wanna be because they're really insecure about what's going to happen once they get there. This is something that was told to my fiance, but blew my mind. And that is, he wanted to be an artist and he wasn't. And he couldn't figure out why. And the person who said this basically said, I think you're afraid of becoming who you want to be because once you get there, you're gonna be expected to be that great all the time. And I don't think that you think that you can handle that. And I was like, yeah. I think a lot of people are really just worried about not being able to be the best of that thing or to stay even with that same energy that they came in with. And that's scary. That's a genuine scary thought. <laughs> like I, I think about that all the time. I applied for Buzzfeed a few years ago. And I didn't take it because at the time, um, A, I was terrified of leaving my hometown, and two, I was afraid that they were going to expect me to create really, really popular, like not, not every single thing BuzzFeed does goes viral, but most of it kind of does. And I really just, I didn't think that I was going to be able to perform on that level and I didn't want to let myself or BuzzFeed down. So I didn't, I applied, but I didn't take it as seriously as I could have because I felt like if I didn't get selected, it was okay because I wasn't taking it that serious anyway. You know, I had found an out way before I even decided to take it seriously, basically. I just, I was really insecure and I wasn't sure that I was going to make myself proud and I just stopped. And I did that with a lot of things in my life. And maybe it's just me being a Capricorn, but Capricorns are very driven and hardworking and serious. And uh, we come off as almost emotionless sometimes, but deep down, we just want to be perfect. And we want everything to go right. And we want to be the best. And that's how I've always set the bar for myself. When I was in college, I sat in the front of every class, every single one. And if I had to sit Anywhere from the second row on back, I was already defeated. I was already like, wow, that you can even come on time enough to get you a good seat. You should have came 20 minutes early like everybody else in the front. I really, really just always wanted everything to be right and perfect. And I was so insecure about any time that I could possibly not be great or the best that I, I just, I got my own way. I saw myself before I even gave myself that chance. And I'm really disappointed that I did that because I feel like had I really given my all and did my best, not necessarily just for that BuzzFeed job, but you know, just in life in general, I'd be in a whole different place. But that's okay. That's what life is for. That's what it's all about. Learning, growth, and just making sure that you don't make the same mistake twice. But really think about what you do and does that thing help you get closer to the thing that you really want to achieve? Hello. Hello, young lady, come here. Puppy break, it's time for a puppy break. Say hello to the people. Hello, I'm Leah. I'm such a good boy. 
No, you cannot climb in my lap. I love you too. You wanna say hi to everyone? Say hi to the people. If you've never read The Little Prince, please. That is like one of my all time favorite books ever, ever. And it's just about, you know, people forgetting about who they were and everything they wanted, you know, when they become an adult because they feel like when they get to a certain point in their life, you can no longer have these goals and dreams. And if you haven't achieved them already, then oh, well, too late, you know, whatever. And the book just really brings you back into perspective. Like, hey, I can still have these childlike dreams and ambitions. You know, when I was six, I would wanted to be the first female Olympic gold medalist swimmer president. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm really good at swimming. I'm an excellent swimmer. I never did the swim team because I felt like I was not going to be good or people were going to judge me because I swim extremely fast, but I was also chunky growing up and I was like, oh, everyone's like paper thin. No one's gonna take me seriously as a swimmer. Yeah, and then I also was like, politics are too hard. No one's gonna vote for a woman. Okay, I mean, that's still, that's still factual. But, you know, I can't do any of these, ugh, life. Ugh. I'm really, I'm kind of mad at myself for not, you know, pushing forward and just doing all the things I wanted to do because, you know, I got in my own way. I beat myself up all the time over why I haven't achieved something that I've wanted to achieve. Why I'm not a published author yet. Why I don't have a better job. Why I'm not doing what I want to do when I had all the time to do it. And I'm like, the only person who stopped me from doing that was me. I let my insecurities keep me from being in the place that I wanted to be in right now. But. I can still achieve those things. I still want to, I, no, I don't want to be a president or an Olympic gold medalist swimmer anymore, but you're never too old to start something that you love. You're never too old to uh, start something new or figure out what your passion is, you know? Insecurities are never a good thing. They never do anything positive for you. You know, when I have a thought or a feeling, I always stop and say, does this benefit me in any way? Is this gonna do anything good for me right now? And if it's no, then I want people to understand that nothing good comes from hating something about yourself. And if you're not sure whether or not you wanna do something, remember my three tips if you watch my other video, three things, is it safe? Is it legal and does it make you happy? And if it feels all three, go ahead and do it, y'all. Go ahead and do it. If you have not done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Worldwide Fam. If you have not done so already, also hit that notification bell so you know when I'm gonna holla at you. And if you like this video, hit that button and tap on the tush. And I will see you guys somewhere out in the world or in the next video. It's time to jump up in the jump up,